Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. So this is video 21. What I'm going to be doing in this video is dejoining or removing the Windows 10 clients from our Active Directory forest. So if you want to learn how to dejoin or remove a computer from a domain, let's get into the video. We'll be learning that now. Thank you. Alright guys, so in this video what we're going to be doing is removing the computers from our domain. So if we see here in our little slide here, this is video 21. I just got done filming video 20 from removing an additional domain controller from uh, an Active Directory Forest. So we have our Active Directory server still and we have these two Windows 10 computers. We're going to remove them right now from our Active Directory infosecpat.local domain. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and minimize this. And we have our Windows Server 2019 Active Directory. So we have our computers, we have two OUs. I remember, if you remember in earlier videos, we had client one, which is me, and client two, which was Star, my, my dog. She has a computer, I guess. And um, so what we're gonna do is remove these from the domain and put them back on a work group. And the reason why you would do this is if, you know, you need to whack a computer, remove a computer. Um, someone's getting a new computer that you just want to dejoin so you can have your, your infrastructure and your AD structure clean. So you don't have like uh, stale items out there. You can run applications to, you know, see if there's any stale items that have been X amount of days old without being any activity. But you rather be on top of your Active Directory. At least that's how I am. So. At this point, we're getting, obviously this is the last video. We'll do a few things. What I wanna do is I wanna remove these. I'll show you guys how to do a password reset um, on, uh, on some users, like on these two users. Um, so obviously we have Windows updates going on P, uh, client one, and we can log into client two first. I think client one's ready now. All right, so client one is ready, so let's go do a control delete. We are logging in, logging into the domain. And uh, let's go ahead and log in. I think I fat fingered that. Yes, I did. So let's go ahead and, while that's logging in, let's log into here. This is going to be user two. Okay, so these are our two machines that we're going to be dejoining or removing from our Active Directory. So this is uh, client one. And how can you tell if we're still on the domain? Let's go ahead and open up. Um, and we can run the set command. Set will show us whoa, um, the logon server. There's another way you can actually, and you can just look down here and it says the profile is infosec pat, the um, Roman pro, uh, user domain underscore profile, the user is user one and the domain and uh, the domain the user domain is infosecpat.local and you can also run a command echo percent sign percent sign logon server percent sign so this will go out and see what logon server we're running so our logon server is when when 2k19 dc02 that indicates that this is joining to the domain all right and obviously you can go to system right click start go to system and we can see here that this is a part of a domain okay so the way we're going to take this off we're going to go ahead and hit change and we're the domain you know we're the admin obviously the client in this case you know your user one is not going to be able to do this because that's not best practice you don't want them to have um, admin rights so i'll just go ahead and log in as administrator and we should get prompt, here we go. So from here, we got computer, computer name tab. We're gonna go ahead and click on change here. And for domain, we're gonna go ahead and put work group and we can just put work, doesn't really matter. And then we can hit okay, it's gonna prompt it. It says after you leave the domain, um, after you, and you're gonna need a, to know the local password, the local admin password. I think I know it, no, I, I know it. Um, just hit okay here, just make sure you do know it. Um, and then it should prompt us to log in. 
or not. Sometimes it prompts you, sometimes it doesn't. So now we can just hit close and then reboot. Let's do the same. Before we do that, let's go ahead and see if uh, my machine is out of here. Let's go ahead and refresh. See now you have a little an arrow here. So this is pretty much metadata. Now we can remove this. Right? We can just delete. Tap. And star, you see star has no we can refresh this. It has no arrow. It's it's not a dead machine yet. So let's go ahead and um, remove her. Same concept. We can go to system. Right click start, go to system, open up um, change settings. You want to put your domain admin credentials. All right, so once we have our system properties open, computer tab, hit the same thing, change. We're gonna just put it on work. If I'm lazy, I don't wanna type in group. And just go ahead and hit okay. So continue, and then it'll reboot same exact way. See, this one prompted. See, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so let's go ahead and put administrator. I can spell and then our fancy password okay so once that says okay it's on a work group we can get okay fantastic next okay and then that's the next step would be reboot now let's go ahead and go back to client one we can do a control delete we can do the admin I think I know the password I hope I know the password it's been like three weeks that I've been doing these things. So cool, I know the password. So now we can just go back onto, on, on the machine, right click start, go to uh, system. And we can see that it's a part of work. And now if we go onto our Active Directory, if we refresh this, we should have a little arrow that indicates that it's a, a stale machine. Let's give it another second. I guess not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on how long it takes. Remember, this is a lab environment. But we know, right, this is, uh, let's log into here. Uh-oh, did I fat finger it? I hope I did. And let's give that a second to um, log in. So this is client one. And we're on, the, we're on there. So let's go ahead and refresh this again. I guess uh, it's still like star. But we can pretty much whack it in a second. I, I just want to show you guys on the actual desktop itself that we can just go to system again, right click, start, go to system. Now it's on work. So, and if you can, if you go open up um, computer or file explorer and what we can do here is hit network. That's fine. We can turn this on. Uh, that's fine. So we should be able to see. Um, this is this is all the stuff here. But if we go ahead and do details, we can see work group. Um, and then infosec pad. That's our domain. And then work group is on PDG big boy. That's my desktop. Um, so now let's go ahead and do that same thing on here so we can see everything that's rolling hit OK we can just go ahead and turn on network discovery no it's fine and we should see everything in here and we can see both of these in the work work group work group work okay and that's my fire stick and whatever else is on my network all right cool so that's that we're good here and the last step we're gonna do really quick is Go back to the DC, refresh, and whack this guy. We don't need him anymore. Remove, delete, see you. What do I want to be you? So now, technically, we can remove these OUs because we don't need them right now. And let's see if I get an error. All right, so if you do get this error, don't panic. You can delete it so you don't have the significant, this, you don't have like the rights to actually to delete it. So the way you can do that is go to actions, go to advanced, um, view, advanced, feature option. Oh, oh my God. View, uh, advanced features. 
and then we can just go ahead and go back to that OU computers right click on here properties and then we're going to go to object and we can uncheck protect object from deletion apply okay and now we should be able to whack it whack delete see ya and this one probably the same thing let's try to delete it first probably gonna get an error perfect and let's go ahead and go to properties object uncheck the deletion apply now we should be able to whack it boom all right so that's that so the next thing because you know we have a few more minutes i don't want to make the video too long because we already did what we needed to do we dejoined them we took these off the, the domain we can go ahead and shut down both machines because we don't need them anymore and the last but not least, I wanted to show you guys how to reset a password in Active Directory. I want to get deep into it, and I think I mentioned this in my other video. I'm going to be putting out a video, uh, the video course or video series on um, Udemy about Windows Server 2019, beginner's administration. But say if we go to users, we have IT, right? We have Hyper-V Admin. We can just go ahead and right click on Hyper-V Admin and go ahead and reset password. And then go ahead and put your new password and go ahead and hit OK. The password for Hyper-V Admin has been changed. Perfect. And then you can go to Properties and you can just do a whole bunch of cool things. Um, I think my account is locked for some reason. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much how you go ahead and reset a password for any user. Like if we go back to Users, we do the same thing for all these guys. Reset Password. You can disable the account. Like I'm going to disable this account. So now this guy can't log in if we try to log in, but we'll get into accounts, account management and all that stuff in, 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 a, in upcoming videos. But that's pretty much it for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So if we minimize, if we, um, if we whack these machines, I guess this one's still doing its thing. And we can go ahead and remove this and just get rid of these, but I, I may not get rid of them yet. I might use this in future videos, but I wanted to get it off that domain because I'm gonna be building a whole new app, app directory and everything starting probably next week. So until next time, please like, subscribe, share. If you have any comments, any concerns, any, any problems, let me know for any videos that you wanna see. Like I said, I wanna be doing, you know, different kind of s subjects, like I said, VPNs and you know, getting more into um, the Windows administration stuff. This was just a quick little playlist that you guys can get some knowledge about Windows Server 2019 and so on and so forth. So if, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making them. And um, whoever it helps out there, it helps. And if you don't like it, sorry. But until next time, have a good day and um, be safe with this whole coronavirus. Hopefully we get out of pandemic soon. Take care, guys. See ya.